So what's what's some what's like three companies that could lead quantum computing? Google for sure. <laughs> um I don't know if they'll directly invest or like have the infrastructure, but I think Microsoft will do what they did in the AI space and they'll invest. That's a way to have exposure. And I think there's going to be a dark horse that nobody sees yet. I'm looking internationally to see, and like you alluded to it earlier, I think China may end up, we can't afford that, but I think China may be the kickoff in a quantum space and we'll probably have to play catch up, but I'm trying to find one internationally that I think will have great exposure. Um, I'm not able to find one yet. I'm looking at one now, RGTI, um, and for the sole reason that it deals with infrastructure, with manufacturing, quantum computers, and the hardware for it. Early into my research for it, I'm just letting y'all know now, I saw, this is what I'm currently researching, RGTI, Regetti Company, uh, Computing Company, it's on the watch list because I'm look, that's how I'm viewing things. Yes, this is who's building the infrastructure. Who has a central hardware that's needed? It's one of my companies. You know who invested more money than any of those companies that you, that you named? Who? IBM. Yeah. They, they started. Before Google, it was them. True. Right? They, they what was, I forgot the name. <laughs> of the oh, my gosh. Watson. Right. Watson. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I think this is a great lesson too. Even if you don't like a company, you have to still be objective for if they can come back. I don't think they will, but you are right. They have invested a lot in that space. I think they're going to play a role for sure. Maybe it's their comeback. Maybe that's what they're banking banking on. If the colonizer play works, if you know the origin of IBM and what they did here and what they tracked overseas before, maybe. Colonizer play. No. Well, Robin Hood um, is reportedly exploring sports betting to add to their portfolio of options yeah. that they can give to their customers. Um, is this a smart decision? I'm biased. I, I'm pro Robin Hood. I'm pro Vlad. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Um, most of the innovation, if we're going to be very honest, I've been on um, Think or Swim when it was with TD Ameritrade going back to 20. 20- 12 2013 i never seen innovation come out of this industry as fast if they have some missteps yes did they sell data yes did everybody else sell data and just didn't tell you absolutely they charge you fees (laughs) absolutely yes so um do i love the idea i think one thing they're doing really well for sure is innovating at a faster clip in the financial space and if you can bet on a order block That would be really fascinating. Seeing what they showed us at the conference, Mm -hmm. the futures, I was impressed. If they can add that to sports betting, I would definitely take an over-under before of how long Travis is going to keep that girl. (laughs) Sure. I'm talking blackout. (laughs) Yeah, I I think they – I mean, kudos to Vlad. They have a responsive and innovative CEO. So, I mean, how many times you hear your users have complaints and how many times do you actually see the CEO Fixing. respond to those co- the complaints and updating and making things better based on those complaints? We watch it happen in real time. He's aware of what's happening in, inside of the world of sports betting. Rather than going to all these other platforms and you're already investing in him, <coughs> he's already made it a gamified situation in terms of the, the ease case on his mm-hmm. platform. I felt it was like a, it was a no-brainer. I feel like for him, uh, he, yeah. he's taking advantage of the moment. Do I like the um, the over sensationalizing of gambling? No. When y'all clip this up, don't say that we hate people that we cool with. But um, but I do think it's smart for them to take advantage of it. They love to play. Rashad and Troy hate Joe for talking about pride. I'm like Danny, stop, bro. God, Got it. I know it was a, know it was a slow <laughs> news day. Gotcha. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> the Bills by four. Like, bro. Oh, man. Shout out to Joey. But it is interesting to see how big that market has gotten. And it goes to show if all of the former illegal vices that were available to Americans are now legal, what does that tell you about the state of the economy? More legalization. <laughs> That's what it tells me. Coming. Need it. <laughs> More. What 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 sports gambling has done for New York and New Jersey 
unprecedented. Yeah. And it's, it's only going to get, you think the, the casinos that potentially could be coming to Queens, the casino that could potentially be coming to Manhattan. Yeah. Insane. Writing's on the wall. And James don't get paid off all of that. I'm not joking. Just <laughs> <laughs> Nick's cooking. Nick's cooking, though. Shout out to the Knicks. Yeah, it's interesting to see. Yeah. Do you think the second half of the decade will be a stronger performing market, or do you think it will perform less in the first half of this decade? I think it's spot, <coughs> it's spot investments, not like the whole entire thing. Like, so crypto or particular stocks related to technology or artificial. Or quantum. Yeah, quantum for sure. Yeah. It's like um, the whole entire stock market, probably not. Yeah. Sector specific. Yeah, I think. I mean, technology is always going to lead. I don't, I don't think that changes. Yeah, it's not going to um, change. Bitcoin will be the asset that it, we potentially see it as. I'm interested to see what financials, what happens in that sector as we start to see more and more debt. And we see, we see more and more spending, and mm-hmm. we potentially see inflation returning. Industrials, financials, Tough. even yeah, it it could get interesting. Could get All interesting. the hedges have become the main investment. Like I'm yeah. trying to think of a time. Maybe you guys can remember. And Rashad is using an advisor. Well, all the the risk on investments became the primary driver. I can't. I think this is the first time in history where, like, because Bitcoin should be a hedge, and once again, no one's talking about the bomb. The bond market is dead. Life support. No one cares. Crypto's great replacement. Don't get me wrong, but if you were told to do sixty forty eight years ago, oh, your portfolio got crushed holding bonds. Who would have thought? Langley. Langley, the good folks at Langley, <laughs> Agent Starling. <laughs> yep. What happened? Remember the the regional bank story? Just what? one one away from Takashi. <laughs> Just quarters. Nobody Don't, even. It's a bunch of little sectors. When you go look at, <laughs> you're like, this shit is still fifty percent under, and no one no one said a word. Yeah, hmm. yeah. JP just took over Silver Bank like quietly. All these little yeah, these regional yeah. banks are just clock is ticking. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah.